Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of gas cylinders. Those are not just simple metal containers. They are meticulously engineered products designed to withstand high pressures and ensure safety. Have you ever wondered how those robust metal containers used for storing gases like oxygen, propane, or carbon dioxide are made? In this video, we will explore the entire manufacturing process of gas cylinders, from raw materials to the final product that you see in homes, businesses, and industries. Let's get started. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The journey of a gas cylinder begins with the selection of raw materials. The primary material used is steel, specifically carbon steel, which is favored for its strength and durability. Manufacturers typically source steel in large coils or sheets. The quality of steel is paramount because it must withstand the high pressures of the gases contained within it. Before the steel is processed, it undergoes stringent quality checks to ensure it meets the required specifications. This includes tests for tensile strength, ductility, and corrosion resistance. In some cases, alloyed steels are also used to enhance specific properties such as weight and resistance to environmental factors. Once the steel is selected, the next step is forming the cylinder shape. This is typically done using either the seamless or welded method. In the seamless method, a solid steel billet is heated until it becomes malleable, and then it is pierced and elongated into a hollow cylinder using specialized machinery. This method is preferred for high-pressure applications because it eliminates weak points associated with welded joints. On the other hand, the welded method involves taking flat steel sheets, cutting them into strips, and then welding the edges together to form a cylinder. While this method can be less expensive and faster, it is often used for lower pressure applications. Regardless of the method, precision is crucial at this stage to ensure the dimensions and wall thickness of the cylinders meet safety standards. After forming, the cylinders undergo rigorous testing and inspection. This phase is essential to ensure that each cylinder can safely contain the gases for which they are intended. First, visual inspections are conducted to check for any visible defects, such as dents, scratches, or irregularities in the welds. Following this, cylinders are subjected to non-destructive testing methods, such as ultrasonic or X-ray inspections, to identify any internal flaws that could compromise their integrity. Once the initial tests are completed, the cylinders must pass a hydrostatic test. During this test, the cylinder is filled with water and pressurized to a level significantly higher than its intended use. This test helps to verify that the cylinder can withstand high pressures without deforming or bursting. Once the cylinders pass all tests, they move on to the coating and finishing process. This step is vital for protecting the cylinder from environmental factors, including moisture and corrosive substances, which can degrade the metal over time. Typically, the cylinders are first sandblasted to remove any surface impurities and create a rough surface that helps the coating adhere better. Next, a primer coat is applied, followed by a final coat of paint. The paint used is usually a specialized epoxy or polyurethane that offers excellent resistance to chemicals and UV light. This finishing process not only enhances the appearance of the cylinders, but also significantly extends their lifespan. Some manufacturers even apply a rubber coating for additional protection and to minimize the risk of damage during handling. After the coating and finishing process, each cylinder is marked and labeled according to regulatory standards. The markings typically include the manufacturer's name, the cylinder's unique serial number, the type of gas it is designed to hold, and safety warnings. These labels are essential for ensuring proper handling, storage, and usage of the cylinders. Additionally, cylinders often have a test date stamped on them, indicating when they were last inspected and tested. This information is crucial for safety, as it helps users determine when the cylinder may need to be retested or replaced.
With the cylinders fully prepared, the next step is assembly and valve installation. The valves are critical components that control the flow of gas out of the cylinder. Each valve is carefully selected based on the type of gas the cylinder will hold, ensuring compatibility and safety. During the installation process, each valve is meticulously fitted to ensure a secure seal. This is crucial because any leaks could lead to dangerous situations. After installation, the entire assembly is again checked for leaks using various testing methods, including soapy water tests and pressure decay tests. Once the valves are installed, a final inspection is conducted before the cylinders are packaged for shipment. This inspection involves checking the overall appearance of the cylinders, ensuring all markings and labels are present and legible, and verifying that the valves function correctly. Once the cylinders pass this final inspection, they are securely packaged to prevent damage during transportation. They are then loaded onto trucks for delivery to distributors or directly to customers, ready to be filled with the appropriate gases. The entire process of manufacturing a gas cylinder is a blend of precision engineering, advanced technology, and strict quality control measures. From raw material selection to the final inspection, each step is carefully monitored to produce cylinders that can safely store and transport gases for a wide range of applications. The next time you use a gas cylinder, whether to cook a meal or breathe underwater during a dive, you can appreciate the incredible engineering and effort that goes into making these indispensable tools. And there you have it, a comprehensive overview of how gas cylinders are made, from raw materials to the final product. Each step of the process is designed with safety and efficiency in mind, ensuring that these essential containers can safely store gases for various applications whether it's for use in your home barbecue, in hospitals for medical gases, or in industrial settings, understanding the meticulous manufacturing process behind gas cylinders gives us a greater appreciation for the technology and engineering involved. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.